Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina directed army to uphold democracy and constitution to build a prosperous nation. The High Court fixed Sunday to hear an appeal petition filed by BNP chairperson. Bangladesh moves up to two notches in Transparent International Graft Index. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my TV news. I'm Shaila Hook with you in the newsroom today. You were watching the Standard Bank headlines. Now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina directed Bangladesh Army to uphold democracy and constitution and contribute more to building a happy and prosperous Bangladesh. She told the sixth in reunion of Bangladesh Army Engineer Corps at the Engineer Center and School of Military Engineering, ECSME, at Kadirabad Cantonment this morning. Sheikh Hasina also asked the members of Bangladesh Army to keep a constant vigil to face any internal and external threats for safeguarding the country's constitution and sovereignty. The Prime Minister added that government want to put Bangladesh on a dignified position of the world and to achieve the goal, all will have to work together. The Prime Minister inspected a spectacular parade of smartly turned out contingent of the Army Engineering Corps and took salute. Ministers, the Premier's advisors, Parliament members, the chiefs of three services and high civil and military officials were present on the occasion. The High Court has fixed Sunday to hear an appeal petition filed by BNP Chairperson Khaled Azia that challenged her five years imprisonment in jail by Adhaka's court in the CR Financial Trust Graft case. Accepting the appeal, the bench of Justice Aminayati Rahim and Justice Muhammad Shahidul Karim passed the order on Thursday. The hearing on bail petition of Khaled Asiya will also be held on that day. Earlier, the court said Thursday to hear whether the appeal by BNP chairperson Khaled Asiya will be heard or not after it was placed before a bench of Justice M. Inayat Rahim and Justice Muhammad Shahidul Karim. In the 1,222-page appeal, the BNP chief sought bail and prayed to the high court to acquit her of the corruption charge after setting aside the lower court verdict. The appeal mentioned a total of 44 legal points to scrap the trial court verdict. Bangladesh has moved up two notches in the World Corruption Perceptions Index CPI, said the Berlin-based Transparency International in a report published today. The study, which ranks 180 countries and regions using 2017 data, was released by the Berlin-based organization on Thursday. Bangladesh ranks 143rd with a score of 28, tying with Mauritania, Lebanon, Kenya and Guatemala. In last year's ranking, it was 145th out of 176 countries. Bangladesh's score improved two points from the previous year. Transparency International Bangladesh Executive Director Iftekhar Zaman highlighted several aspects from the report at a media briefing in Thanwindi. He said, though it seems that Bangladesh has advanced two Hots, it should not raise hopes. New Zealand with a score of 89 topped the list and was followed by Denmark, Finland, Norway, Switzerland, Singapore, Sweden, Canada, Luxembourg and the Netherlands and the United Kingdom. The Supreme Court Appellate Division has postponed a hearing of the appeal by the Election Commission against the High Court freeze on the Dhaka North City Corporation by elections for mayor and councillor sets. A four-member bench led by Justice, Chief Justice Said Mahmoud Hussain postponed the hearing on Thursday based on a plea for more time by the Election Commission's representatives. The plea was made by advocate on record Muhammad Ashraf Uzzaman in the absence of EC senior lawyer Fida M. Kamal. A high court bench passed the stay order on Jan 17th halting the elections for six months after two union parishad chairmen filed petitions. 
they issued a rule asking why the election commission schedule for the mayoral bypolls and councillor elections in the new 18 words should not be declared beyond the legal purview. Music director Ali Akbarupu has passed away at United Hospital in Dhaka at the age of 57. He breathed his last at 4, uh, 12.40 p.m. on Thursday. Ali Akbar was admitted to a private hospital on February 12 after his health conditions deteriorated severely due to both heart and kidney complexities and he was kept at ICU. Rupu was suffering from coronary problems for more than two years. In 2015, stent was implanted on his heart at the hospital.